when we want to silent a code or when we want to stop the execution of a code it's like description code we want to stop there are two types like single line comment and multi line comments a single line comment we use hashtag to stop execution of a single code like single line code if you want to stop the execution in a multi line code we use like a, a double single comments or double uh, triple, triple. Com sorry triple double codes Triple double quotes or single uh, triple single quotes. Okay, good. Okay, like uh, so, how many types of functions we are having in Python? We have four types of functions. Uh, actually, the functions is like the block of code which we are writing regarding the functionality which doesn't call itself. It will be called whenever it will be executed whenever we call it. There are four types of functions like user defined, predefined, uh, lambda, and recursion. User defined functions are something which we give the function to it and we call it. Predefined functions are something which is already set, we are just calling it. Lambda functions are uh, like we write all the statements or all the conditions in a single expression. Recursion, uh, recursion function is something uh, which calls itself in its body. Yeah. Good. Okay, then. Uh, so tell me something about uh, scope of variables. Scope of variables, like we have two kinds of variables. Global variables and local variables. Global variables, like local variables, we write in a block of code itself, and like global variables which we write outside. Local variables have more power inside the block, whereas global variables have outside the block. It like global, like global variable dominates outside, and local variable dominates even the global variable inside the block. So what is inside or outside? What is inside or outside? Uh, like for example, if you take. Uh, you know, like class and objects. Let's take, uh, like, if you mention something inside a class but outside the object, uh, like outside a function, we can say uh, it doesn't have any impact inside the fun inside the function block which we written. Like we already mentioned some uh, variable inside it, like a local variable, we say. Uh, but when, like, if you want to call it outside the function block, uh, this global variable have more kind of power than this local variable. And we, if when we give like if functions like or it acts whenever we give uh, two kind of values to a single variable. It's not you have used the word power. It's not power. It is yeah. dominated. Yeah, oh yeah, dominated. Okay, okay good. Okay, like uh, so you said some, something about class and objects, yes. right? Yes. Okay, can I ask you something about class and objects? Okay, what is a class? Uh, class is like imaginary thing, uh, which we can't see, but it changes its uh, like uh, it changes its functions regarding the object which we keep it in. Uh, it's like it's imaginary one, whereas object is a physical one which we see in a real world. Yes. Okay, is a cousin object is a format of uh, scripting language or OOPS language? Uh, it's like it comes under OOPS language. It is one of the OOPS concepts. Then why we are discussing in Python? Because you know, like Python supports OOPS concepts, though it is though it comes under interpreting. Scripting language. Yeah, scripting language. Okay, then. Like, uh, so is a return statement is mandatory in a function? Uh, no, it's not. Then how many return statements can we declare in a, in a function? Uh, we can give, like, uh, for each function we give, we can give one type of return type. Can we write uh, more, more number of return types in a function? Uh, like, if we add more function, we can add more return types. So I, I think you didn't get my point. Okay. So how many return type statements can we declare in a single function? Uh, only one. Yes. Okay. So we can pass more number of logics in a return statement, but we can declare. We should, uh, we should declare only single return function, right? Yes. Okay. Good. Then uh, you said lambda functions. Yeah. So tell me something about lambda functions. Okay. Lambda function is like you know uh, all uh, mostly Python is a line pattern and executing. Right. Uh, look, it's like just like that. We write the code. I'm sorry. Uh, so, uh, like we write the code line by line. But do, like if we want to just shorten the code, we write all the code in a single line. Like which we say that all the conditions in a single expression, which saves our data also, and which we even saves the lines and shortens the code. So in a single line, we can declare a function, call it thing. Yeah. Okay. How many expressions can we declare in a lambda function? Single expression it is. Okay. So can we declare multiple expressions <laughs> in a lambda function? Uh, 
uh, like if you want to enter into another line, you have to use another lambda function, like one more lambda. Okay. So okay. one lambda function can be told only, only single, single expression. expression. Yes. Okay. Then, uh, so tell me something about uh, uh, sets. Sets. Okay. Sets are something which we use, uh, which holds heterogeneous kind of data, uh, in and we mention it in a curly bracket, curly phrases. It is unindexed because it is unordered. As it is unordered, we can't give index numbers and we can't call it also uh, because it changes its output whenever we call it. Uh, like it just, uh, you know, the values or elements get jumbled whenever the code is executed. Uh, we see in the output. And it is even, uh, it is mutable kind of data, which means not fixed. So we can even alter the data or elements inside a set. Okay. Does the set accept duplicates? Uh, no, it doesn't. What happens if we declare a dupl if we declare duplicate values in the set? Uh, though we uh, give duplicates in a set, while output uh, or in the output it just uh, shows one time. Only it removes thing. the duplicates removes or replications. Okay, so will it remove entire uh, the duplicated data or only no. so uh, repeated? It removes the extra or repeated one, and yes. we get the single one. Yes, good. Okay, so then uh, so tell me something about the separator parameter. Separator parameter is something, uh, you know, when you want to separate each element in the output, we use separator parameter. Like if you give a word inside a string or something like in that, it separates every uh, every element inside. The, like if you give a num like, let me give an example, I couldn't explain it properly. Uh, so if you give example magnet cube inside it uh, and we use a separated parameter, it shows like m comma e comma uh, g comma n comma e comma q which separates each of each of the element which we gave over there. Actually the thing what it happens is you are somewhat confused and because you are cost wise you are okay yeah about the separator parameter that uh, presentation how should it present means as we are uh, declaring more uh, func functionalities in a particular uh, statements so we use comma separators. So whenever we are using a comma separate in a print statement, it will return as a we return as with a empty space like a space like a white space separators. Okay. So to access those white space separator and to filter white space separator with another another kind of user defined separators, we can use this separator parameter. So what is the keyboard keyword of separator parameter? Uh, SCP. SCP is the key. Okay. Then quotations. It's not parameter. It's quotes. So SCP equal to some quotes we give. So, uh, so can I ask you something, uh, some questions in Python, uh, like, uh, oops? Oops, uh, yeah, I'm just starting with the concepts of oops. Okay, so then I'll ask you one question in oops. So if you are okay with it, you can answer me, and you are aware of it, you can skip this one. So tell me something about uh, access modifiers. Access modifiers is like, uh, you know, uh, we want to modify the accessing of the uh, deck, uh, like class. It's like there are three kinds of access modifiers, uh, public, private, and protected. Like, uh, you know, the uh, by default, a class is like uh, set in public mode. It's not class, it's constructor. Uh, oh, sorry, constructor. Yes. Constructor is set in a public mode. Like, when you want to change it into a private or protected mode, we use uh, access modifiers. Like, for example, to change it into a private mode, we use like a double underscores uh, in the self argument. Okay, wasn't that right? Yeah. Okay, so I was done with that part. Okay, so are you having any questions? No, sir. Okay, then. Okay, uh, definitely simple so, uh, presentation. Okay, then. So we'll update you. So, all the best. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day.